Stick around and we're going to be finding out with a holistic dentist taking your calls and questions all coming up at 5.15. In the news, 17 alleged members of an international gang known as MS-13 are now off the streets of Toronto. Police Chief Bill Blair says the gang is ruthless. We also know that this gang is involved in a number of other violent activities and drug activities. And yesterday's raids resulted in the seizure of a significant amount of cocaine and, and weapons and other contraband material indicating, indicating their level of involvement. Police executed 22 search warrants yesterday after a five-month investigation. 17 people are now under arrest and facing a total of 63 charges, many of them relating to the seizure of cocaine and weapons. Police are looking for four suspects after an armed robbery overnight in the East End. They held up a donut shop near Midland and Ellesmere, fled by car to Birch Manor Finch, then took off on foot. Police dogs were called in to help search. No arrests so far. And two people are under arrest after a suspected drug lab bust in Markham. Officers converged on a newly built townhouse near Kennedy, Old Kennedy, and Steele's last night. Some neighbors were evacuated as a precaution over concerns about chemicals. Turns out there was no drug lab, but the house was being used to store ecstasy. A man and a woman have now been charged with possession for the purpose of trafficking. The police need your help in tracking down millions of dollars worth of jewelry. This diamond necklace, for instance, is just one of the items taken. It was in a wall safe that was stolen from a home last Sunday near Bayview and York Mills. A number of other items are also missing, including a blue sapphire ring, a custom-made diamond ring, diamond stud earrings, and a historical coin pendant. Call police at 32 Division or Crime Stoppers if you can help with this investigation. The Toronto Humane Society is investigating a possible West End puppy mill. About 30 dogs were seized from a home near Roncesvalles and Dundas. Some of the dogs are just a few weeks old. Trey Smith from the Humane Society stopped by CP24 and offered some advice for detecting possible puppy mills in your neighborhood. If you never see a dog or a cat come out of that, that house or apartment or anything like that, but you see lots of food going in, lots of kidder, uh, lots of dog food, then you know something's going on in there. It'll be another six weeks before the puppies seized will be up for adoption contact the Humane Society for more information. Well, the protest continues today outside General Motors headquarters in Oshawa over the planned shutdown of GM's truck plant. <laughs> CAW members set up a blockade early yesterday. They're vowing to stay put until they get some answers. Not too long ago, we signed a new collective agreement with General Motors in good faith, brothers and sisters. And General Motors has broken that faith as of Tuesday. Well, that was the president of the local CAW union, Chris Buckley, putting to rest for now the threat of a wildcat strike. He and other CAW officials are traveling to Detroit tonight for a high-level meeting at General Motors tomorrow morning. Spectacular video of a twister tearing across central Illinois. Warning sirens that sounded as the tornado spun out over the countryside. It was just one of many sparked yesterday by severe thunderstorms that raced across the U.S. Midwest. The National Weather Service is warning more storms could be on the way. And protests to break out in India over high gas prices. Consumers are angry at the government for not stepping up. Fuel prices have risen 11% in New Delhi, 17% elsewhere. Diesel and cooking gas are also sky high. Demonstrators want the government to lower levies. <laughs> Meanwhile, in France, a convoy of truck drivers took to the streets to show their displeasure for the rising costs of fuel. Similar protests are happening all across Europe. Got it. Well, it's mission accomplished on one front for shuttle discovery. The toilet on board the International Space Station has been fixed. The astronauts turned plumbers, replaced a pump that had been offline for over a week. The part had to be rushed from Moscow to the Cape Canaveral, Florida launching pad just days before the shuttle took off. Today, the crew is performing their second spacewalk to work on the Japanese lab, Kibo. It's a lovely looking day on the markets. The reasons why? 
don't know, but Wolfgang Klein does. He's live at the TSX, uh, investment advisor at RBC Dominion Securities. What are your theories on this one? Oh, there's so many. And <laughs> I guess some of those stimulus checks sent out by uh, the Bush administration to American people were spent uh, in the month of May at the place likes of Walmart and Costco. Same source sales for both those big retailers uh, up substantially, better than expected. So that had a good start to the session. Uh, again, beyond that, and it was a day of stranger than fiction type performance. I say this because 1 o'clock, the European Central Bank president, Mr. Trichet, uh, said that they will probably have to raise rates in Europe. That puts strength into the euro, weakness into the U.S. dollar, and as such, excessive strength into uh, the price of crude, which, which rallied some $5.50. Yet the U.S. market continued to move uh, forward. Gold continued to weaken. So you should have seen gold strengthen. It didn't. You should have seen the U.S. market sell off. It didn't. So as I said, it was a day of stranger than fiction. And on that note, George Ann, over to you. All right, thanks so much, Wolfgang. We'll see you again tomorrow. And now let's go back live to Amber in the CP24 Chum Traffic Center for a look at the roads right now. Well, George, it's very busy, and now we are having to deal with some rain out there. This is what the 401 looks like through the 427. The rain is falling. Good idea to put your full headlighting system on so the other person can see you. Very busy along the 401, especially eastbound in sections right across the top. Here through the Dufferin area we go and over towards Avenue Road where it's nice and dry into the Durham region. It's pretty busy from Liverpool through Brock Road over towards Salem. If you're westbound on the 401, again, the rain rain delays and volume delays underneath the 410 out to Highway 10, Don Valley Parkway. Looking at volume both into and out of the downtown core, the northbound side though busy almost from the Gardner right up. And speaking of the Gardner, out of the city delays from the ACC here around the Spadina area and now we seem to be looking for some kind of problem. Now I'm just getting dizzy and I don't see anything. We'll take a look out towards Jameson. Again, some uh, rain falling here and it's busy now into the city as well. Out towards the, there we go, the Humber area. That's just on the slow side. And again, rain and volume delays as you make your way onto the QEW. QEW really slow westbound through Mississauga and both directions through Oakville and Burlington. We also had a stalled vehicle on the westbound 403 west of Waterdown and that was blocking the left lane causing some delays. It's back to you. Thanks, Amber. Some dramatic camera work there, huh? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back live now to Mika, Transit Control. Thanks, George. Well, if you're on the Bloor Danforth line westbound at Royal York Station, a train is holding because a goose is walking at track level. Now, emergency crews are heading out to scene. Hopefully, this will clear shortly, but the Bloor Danforth line very busy right now. The Young University Spadina line, her earlier problems at College Station have cleared, but it's caused it to be very busy. The Young University Spadina line, that's the Young University Spadina line. Let's go to the Shepherd line. It's looking pretty good. The SRT is looking good as well on the surface routes. A collision still affecting services westbound Dundas approaching Keel. Back to the newsroom. Wow, Mika, thanks so much. You're welcome. Well, Amber gave us a quick snapshot of what's going on weather-wise with the eyes showing us uh, that there's rain out there. Let's take a look at the forecast. Here are the satellite and radar images. As you can see, we do have that system heading our way, bringing clouds and showers and fog tonight. Please drive carefully. Uh, low of 18. Now the five-day, uh, partly cloudy. And here we go. The hot stuff begins. Highs of 31 tomorrow. Partly cloudy with thunderstorms on Saturday. Highs of 30. Partly cloudy. Thunderstorms again on Sunday and a high of 30. Mostly cloudy on Monday. Showers a little cooler high of 26 and we're back to more normal temperatures on Tuesday cloudy skies highs of 21. Welcome to the jungle <laughs> yeah live next to stars Hussein Madhavji for our entertainment update. Thanks George so the guest list for the Much Music Video Awards just keeps getting bigger and better just take a look at who's going to present. Star update. Rain Wilson, Melanie C., Jess McCarty, and Cal Penn will hand at the hardware on June 15th, along with Gossip Girls Chase Crawford and Brody Jenner and Whitney Port from the Hills. Ah, the power of being runner-up. American Idol's David Archuleta has inked a record deal. He signed with 19 recordings, Jive Records, the same label winner David Cook is now with. Label mate Britney Spears has a new project too, but it's not her own. Brit has a cameo in the new Pussycat Dolls video for the song When I Grow Up. She shot her appearance yesterday. And is Paris Hilton pregnant? Well, rumors started swirling when she stepped out in this little green dress, sporting what looks like a baby bump, but her camp denies it. Star update. And finally, the dance is over for Karina Smirnov and Mario Lopez. The former Dancing with the Stars partners have called it quits after about two years together. 
Oh, dear. Well, we'll stay oh, together no. longer than that. Yeah, we'll that. last. We'll make it work. <laughs> of course. We'll make it work, man. I can't believe they lasted two years. That's, that's a long time. Yeah, that's there an eternity. There was a lot right? of questions about Mario uh, and a certain star from Desperate Housewives oh. before she married oh. a basketball player. Yeah. Oh, oh, a basketball you know your stuff. player. Kind of a so a yay height sort of thing. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, oh. not the basketball player, the actress. <laughs> right. Rhymes like Neva Mongoria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty yeah, funny. Nicely done. Some question about whether Mario, Ooh, you know, sure, Mario nice. Neva, whatever. Mm, anyway, uh, it sounds like a really great lineup. And, you know, Hussein, as more people uh, commit to uh, going to the MMBAs, more stars will come out of hiding as well. Yeah, no, you're, absol you're absolutely right. I mean, I, I, I'm so excited about this. Uh, this event, I think this one's going to be bigger than better uh, than ever because I think this, the celebrities, once they find out who's going to be on the list, then more and more come out. Uh, all right, Hussein, thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Now you're up to date in 15 minutes. Stay with us for Wild on Health coming up. You're watching Live at 5 only on CP24. prescriptions come in a package. Pfizer is the leading research-based pharmaceutical company. But we believe to be truly healthy, it takes more than medication. a year on your home phone bill? With iPhone, you get a home phone line with unlimited local calling and a ton of free features, all from just $9.95 a month. Switching was so easy, I even got to keep my existing phone number. I got a line for my daughter for only $9.95 a month. Now she talks and I save. Call now and get one month free. Can your phone company do that? Hello? Call away. You're watching CP24. Fire crews continue to battle a huge blaze in a welding factory. CP24, breaking news as it happens. The building was fully Good evening. Welcome to Wild On Health. I'm homeopathic Dr. Bryce Wild, and I'm here with a, a very special guest this evening, Dr. Christopher Sang. And uh, he's the kind of guest that does not believe in filling your teeth with uh, very unusual f kinds of fillings and, and mercury. Do you use fluoride? Toothpaste? Well, Dr. Christopher is saying is a holistic dentist who believes that mercury-based fa fillings are dangerous and has solutions to remove them safely. He also doesn't advocate using fluoride, as I mentioned. His practice has also found that there's often a speedier recovery for most types of dental surgery when alternative treatments are used. Things like chiropractic, osteopathy, massage, manual lymph drainage, and something called matrix repatterning. Dr. Sang, welcome to Wild on Health. Thanks, Dr. Rice. Yeah, it's great a nice, to be here. Yeah, it's a great pleasure to have you on. Um, you know, dentistry, it's, a, you know, it's a, one of the first types of holistic kind of preventative measures that people take to take care of themselves. Uh, most people don't realize this, but dentistry being, you know, the type of measure you take to prevent disease onset for the most part was one of the first types of preventative medicine ever out there. But now the question becomes, what are we really doing with all of these materials? And how is it really any more preventative now by putting our, you know, in our mouths things like mercury and... 
and perhaps even bisphenol A, the type of plastic now we're all concerned about in terms of cancer and so forth. So you're not doing these things in your practice, right? Correct. What kinds of, what is holistic dentistry? It's, it's a way of using naturopathic principles to, to help the body heal faster mm -hmm. and to minimize the amount of toxic or energy, energetic blockages mm -hmm. that we're placing in the mouth. Mm -hmm. um, what you said earlier about dentistry being preventive, mm -hmm. I, I acknowledge. Uh, dentistry has been way ahead of uh, mainstream medicine in terms of having you come in regularly for checkups and cleanings where, yep. where often, you know, in the past that wasn't done so much with medicine. Now people are being a little more proactive and, and coming in preventively to their doctors as like you as well as to us. Yep. And uh, definitely we're looking at some of the, the scientific research that's been done in the past, uh, recent past, that's definitely showing that, that mercury does escape from the fillings and um, that there's also some electromagnetic fields being generated by the different types of metals we put in our mouth. That's interesting. You do that as well. So above and beyond being very conscious about not putting mercury and heavy metals in one's mouth, any of your patient's mouth, and, and starting to stay away from fluoride. We're going to talk about that more in the, in the show today. You're also very uh, aware that we are bioelectrical beings. I read a lot about that uh, on you. And, 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 and we have a current that can go through our mouth and our saliva, and that current can disturb our brain patterns. Is that, is that how it's understood? That's how it's theorized. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been scientifically shown yet. Right. These, these um, currents are extremely low, yep. but they are 100 to 1,000 times stronger than the currents that our nervous system runs on. Because those are low too, right? Those are extremely yeah. low, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's almost I, using an analogy of having a cell phone next to your head 24 right. hours a day. Yep. We, we don't know the effects. Right. Uh, it's, it's hopefully going to be studied further. Yep. But, um, so it's everything we can yeah. do, all the measures that we can put in place. So what you're using in your office, it's not like you're anti-dentistry in any state or any measure. You are pro-dentistry, of course, and the idea that it's a preventative type of, of measure in medicine. But you're using those things that are seemingly much more safe. And we know about mercury in our environment. We know that it's in our waterways and it shouldn't be. We know it's in our fish. We know it's all over the place. And yet, why are we still putting it in our mouths? Can you answer that for us? I, I think the... The history has been that it's been a, a proven long-term way of, of restoring teeth, saving mm -hmm. teeth, and allowing us to, to keep our teeth for a long period of time. And, and so there's that track record there. And, and the, the studies that, that have shown that mercury does escape from it were only done in the late 80s yep. and early 90s. So it's, it's, all, recent, it's, it's only recent right. that, that people are starting to pay attention and, and realize that there's a potential problem there. What are some of the problems that mercury can cause? I mean, if, if we're worried about small particular amounts of mercury getting systemic, and there are no safe levels of mercury, we're agreed on that. But if any mercury does get out to our system, what are kinds of things that science does acknowledge that mercury can cause in the human body that you're aware of? Well, there's obviously effects on the nervous system, so yeah. neurological effects, uh, immune system, mm -hmm. and, and just lowering our, our body's defenses. Um, all sorts of, it, it pretty well invades every cell, every tissue in our body. Yep. Um, it accumulates, the studies done at the University of Calgary. Yeah, and we can throw that 80s, up on the, uh, on the screen here if we like. Definitely in a showed where the mercury ended up. Mm -hmm. And they, they vis visually and physically showed, ends up in our, our brain, our nervous system, mm -hmm. our liver, and our kidneys. Yeah, I'm very proud of the University of Calgary. Cause, and do you know when this study was done? 1988. 1988. So yeah. they studied, you know, so the release of mercury in the mouth by any amount of abrasion, chewing. You know, right. they, they studied even using a, a, a pencil eraser. If we can bring that up on the screen, actually, I can show the viewers where to go for this. It's on the uh, internet, uh, the Calgary study. And I'll, I'll just click over to the website. Sure. Um, if they just Google University of Calgary and, and, and mercury, they'll find this study. They can watch a nice little video of this, uh, of this relay, right? So. So um, again, possible risks even extend themselves to autism. There's this whole research base now that's coming up, and there's controversy, of course, but autism is somewhat linked to mercury, perhaps even found in, in uh, vaccines, right? Correct. So we got to minimize our levels and loads of these toxic uh, substances. Uh, and when we come back later on and after the break, we're going to talk to the idea of how to test ourselves. But what else can people look forward to if they join or they became a patient of your practice? What else can they expect as a patient? Move us through uh, your particular practice and give us an example of what you do and, and what someone might experience in the pre-testing and, and the treatment phase. Well, the initial phone call would find out why you're calling. And mm -hmm. if you do have a concern about your mercury fillings, we'd make sure that you're um, going to bring any previous test results that you had with your homeopathic or naturopathic doctor or, or medical doctor. Yep. Uh, some MDs do specialize in this field as well of heavy metals. And if you don't, then we'll, we'll suggest some names that you can uh, go to and, mm -hmm. and get assessed first. 
uh, before you start the whole removal process. Right. So the initial exam would include a very thorough soft and hard tissue exam, looking at all your teeth and gums and, and making sure that there's no other underlying issues to deal with. Um, the mouth is a gateway to our whole body. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's the mirror. start of our digestive system. So anything that goes, passes through our mouth, get, ends up getting absorbed into our body. So we gotta make sure that what's there all the time is, is as safe as possible as well. That's really good advice. Even traditional Chinese medicine honors that as well, as the uh, tongue, in fact, is a gateway portal, mirror image of our, our body's health and our oral right. mucosa, our gum lining and so forth, because it's a direct picture image into the body. So really interesting stuff. We want to hear from you, and so here's how you can reach us tonight. You can phone us at 416-872-CP24, or from outside the GTA, it's a toll-free at 1-888-863-CP24. Or you can email us at wildonhealth at cp24.com. Stay with us. Beyond mercury, there are even more dangerous things in your mouth. When we return, we'll discuss those dangers and give you specific solutions for removing them. Stay tuned. Research has helped more Canadians to lead healthy, active lives. Doctors at Allied Research International are conducting a research study on an investigational device delivering an approved and marketed asthma medication. Qualifying participants may receive up to $2,160 upon study completion. If you would like to participate, please call our Mississauga office at 1-888-ARI-5544. Allied Research International, voted one of Canada's best managed companies. make sense of car insurance rates were based on skill and experience that way the better drivers would get the better rates so who are these better drivers drivers like you 50 and over because your years of experience and good judgment make you a better driver if you're 50 or over with a clean driving record you are eligible for the experience advantage through great power to find out how much great power's experience advantage could save you Call us at 1-866-473-9640. Great Power's Experience Advantage could save you up to $400 per year on your car insurance. To find out how much you could save, call now. Insure your car and home with Great Power and save even more. Call 1-866-473-9640. Going berry picking? Pick Metamucil Berry Burst Fiber Supplement. It has that ripe, succulent berry flavor, and it's infused with 100% psyllium fiber. Go on, try new Metamucil Berry Burst. Make your hair wishes come true with Pantene. The power is in the provitamin formula to make damaged hair stronger frizzy hair smoother, and dull hair shine with the look of health in just one week. Three wishes, one line of conditioners. Pantene. Shine. Start today with the confidence you get from Gillette Fusion Phenom. Fusion has five blades based closer together with less irritation than Mach 3 and a precision trimmer on the back. The best the man can get. How do you commit to one person? How do you do that? Scott Baio has his hands full. From girlfriend drama. You're not passionate. You're, you're just brief. Everything you do is just brief. Brief. To babysitting. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, crap. To cuddle parties. Scott, may I cuddle a little with you? Uh... You, you Did you just wink at me? Catch two back-to-back -back episodes of Scott Baio is 45 and single. Sunday on Star. Welcome back to Wild on Health. I'm here with holistic dentist, Dr. Christopher Stang, and we're talking about the dangers in your mouth. You were just before the break, you were telling our viewers all about how you bring a patient through the office and some of the pre-testing and oral examination that you provide in your office, and it's slightly different than the average experience in a regular a dental office. I, I want to clarify that. Yeah. Right. So, um, many, many dentists are, are conducting excellent, excellent examinations. Right. 
and uh, you know, providing the utmost and, and a good standard of care. So we're just adding a couple things in that uh, people haven't thought about. For example, actually physically measuring the electrical currents coming off the different metals in our mouth. See, I find this super interesting. And, uh, and how, it, how do you do that? We use a regular ammeter, mm -hmm. a regular electrician's meter. Mm -hmm. We dial it down to microamps, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we see the, the, the digits flying. And, and so it often tells us how, how, which currents are flowing in which direction, mm -hmm. which part of the mouth is a little more active than the other. So and that's we, where we often start removing the metal. Right, so what we were saying before the break is you, you provide these tests and you run these tests and then let's say you find them to be out of your normal values. What do you then do about it? I mean, that's, that's the next step, right? As I said, there's no uh, solid science behind this. Mm -hmm. So it's basically empirical evidence. Right. Empirical means we just go on, on our experience. Okay. Okay, so we, when we see a high current, yep. we let the patient know. Yep. And, and we work with them and, and suggest, let, let's get rid of that first. There are some alternatives, but that's the point. You want to get rid of it however you can get rid of right. that if that's in fact. And it's possibly causing what? I mean, what can people sometimes experience that would alert you as a, as well, a electric shock when you're <laughs> putting a little metal in your mouth? I don't like know. biting on uh, tin foil. if oh, anyone's right. experienced that kind of thing, I certainly right. have myself, right? Um, how are you protecting yourself? I mean, removing, this is something I think a lot of dentists have to be aware of. I have patients who are dentists and often I check their, in my practice, I check their mercury levels. Right. Uh, and you can check yourself by running hair tissue analysis, blood analysis. These are standard tests of blood analysis and urine analysis that look at the blood and urine for levels of mercury, of which we know there are no safe levels. We test these people and we find that they have high mercury, we chelate them. Um, but coming full circle, what do you do to protect yourself? I mean, you're exposed to mercury vapor all day, much higher, I'm imagining, than people are by the slough off in their mouth. So what do you do? Exactly. Well, right in the office itself, a lot of the measures we use to protect our patients are also protecting us because we're minimizing the vapor that's coming out of the mouth while we're removing the filling. Mm -hmm. And I also personally wear a protective mask. Mm -hmm. Can I grab that for you and show you? I think Absolutely. We have, I think Please we have bring a, it out. If we have, have a visual, photo, yeah, that would be great to show you. have a photo of it yeah. as well? Okay. This yeah, is so let's, put it, let's put it on the uh, screen actually for this people to see. This is the particular see, brand that I use. Okay. And it just slips on really easy like this. Okay. Yeah, and, like Darth uh, Vader sort of. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, and there you, there you are yeah. in your office there. And Only so that, I, I that say, will, may the force be with me. That, and that, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and that will prevent the, the, the mercury from getting into your body and perhaps uh, causing any right. long term damage right. to your nervous system. So, we've got a lot of people on the phone waiting to uh, get a hold of you. Oh, that's great. Um, w before we get to the phone lines, just quickly, what other possible chemicals are we dealing with that people want to avoid? I mean, uh, in bisphenol A is another right. one. This is found in plastics, right? Is that a danger in the mouth as well? There, there is some components of those in the composite resin acrylic fillings that we're using. Okay. And I think the studies that were done to, um, to illustrate the, the possible dangers were done mainly for baby formula. We're putting very hot liquids in a plastic bottle for a prolonged period of time. Okay. Which is not really the situation with our mouth. So you're not worried about bisphenol A being in the components that are used no. in, the, in the materials in the mouth? Not at this point in time. Okay. Let's go to the phone lines. We've got Linda uh, from Toronto. Welcome to Wild on Health, Linda. Oh, thank you. Yeah, do you have a question for Dr. Sam? Um, yes, I do. I'm very lucky. I, I do not have any um, mercury fillings in my mouth. So what I want to ask you is, going to your dentist, how would the experience be different to go to you if there's no risk of me having any you know, toxins and mercury? What is different about your practice? Good question, Linda. We, we haven't touched upon a lot of the other different issues in dentistry yet, such as uh, periodontal disease with your gums, uh, possible uh, latent or chronic infections with root canal treated teeth, um, possible other infections in the mouth. Because if there's bacterial diseases with periodontitis, and that's what that is, I mean, if that gets systemic, that's also another problem. So let's, let's talk about that right now. Give Linda some examples of what you might do with periodontal disease and some of the other things you suggest. Uh, dentistry uses a lot of um, disinfectants yep. to try and, try and minimize the, the level of bacteria in our mouth, in addition to the, the normal scaling procedures that we use. Mm -hmm. and, and we're trying to get more towards the natural products like baking soda, salt, hydrogen peroxide, mm -hmm. back to when our grandparents yeah, yeah. Were, were using those things. And, and At-home remedies in the mouth yeah. almost, but those that are working and those that are scientifically proven to at least be sterile and actually kill bacteria, right? Right. Yeah. And, and in our office, we also have uh, lasers to help with under-the-gum problems, which, yeah, we're uh, telling which me that. often ends up in a surgical situation in other offices. 
You were telling me about that before uh, the break, something that cauterizes, right? Somehow. Uh, well, it's, it's actually the light energy is actually, and the heat energy is actually killing the microbes that are Got hiding it. under the gums. Got it. Which, which in normal offices, we're just uh, physically scaling. We're just physically moving the, the, the plaque and the bacteria around. Okay. So it gives you an added fight against uh, the bacteria. Excellent. And you, you mentioned fluoride and the fact that you're really not an advocate of fluoride. So Linda might experience going to an average dentist and them pushing fluoride, and you're not right. an advocate. So explain first why you're not, and then perhaps what's your alternative. Well, fluoride's been promoted as a, a very good way to remineralize the enamel. Right. And it has been used for many years in, in the Toronto area, in North America. It's, it's, it has been phased out in other parts of the world. Uh, because of its potential toxicity. Yeah. And, um... I mean, the, the, what would be the alternative to fluoride, perhaps? Would you be using a different substance? Or? Ag again, we're using safe and um, natural mm -hmm. substances. Non yeah, okay, yeah. What, what about Excellent. for teeth whitening? For, Are you doing yeah, that? Yeah, that's a good question, too, teeth whitening. We love to brighten up people's smiles, Linda, and yes, we do teeth whitening. We've uh, actually found the safest um, way to whiten is use the products that stay on your teeth and in your mouth the least amount of time. Okay. So over the years that whitening products have been available, mm -hmm. we've actually reduced the amount of time that the gels have to be in your mouth. And uh, one of the systems we have in our office is called Sapphire. It's uh, a, a lot safer than the Zoom that's, that's well popularized. Mm -hmm. The Zoom uses an ultraviolet light and Sapphire doesn't. Interesting. Very, have you heard of strawberries? Strawberry I juice? have. Yeah, and From does a that holistic work? nutritionist friend. Yeah, does it work? I haven't tried you haven't it myself, seen it on your patients? but uh, yeah. I'm going home and... I wonder if there's anything and, to that. Um, yeah, mashing up strawberries. Interesting. Right. Very good. We've also got Deanna from Oakville on the line. Welcome to Wild on Health, Deanna. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you very good. much. You have a question for Dr. Sang? Yes, I do. Um, being a senior, I have numerous uh, sulfur fillings in my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, I lived in Gravenhurst for a year where there was a lot of iron in the water. Mm -hmm. I then moved to Oakville, and I was here two weeks. This is now eight years, and I developed eczema. Mm -hmm. I've been to three dermatologists, uh, my own doctor, numerous pharmacists. No one can seem to tell me. They just say it's nerves. I'm convinced it's an allergy. And I was wondering if the doctor had ever heard of this causing any kind of skin condition. Yeah, your skin condition is likely uh, just a symptom, like you mentioned, Deanna, and it's, 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 if you think there's a link, then definitely going to a, a physician like Dr. Wild, he'd be able to provide some other tests and some other insights that the uh, conventional medical doctors may not have at their disposal. Yeah, your, your practice is very, uh, you know, still focused on dentistry. So the calls and questions around the dental component, as, as holistic as you can be with dentistry, but still scientific, is yeah. the nature and the focus of the show. But you're right, I mean, when you send you know, a patient to myself, and in her case, I could do a hair tissue mineral analysis and find heavy metals way out of whack, in right. which case I would then proceed to do something called chelation, which is binding. It means in Latin to claw or bind and hold on to these uh, heavy metals and actually bring them out of the body. We see all kinds of cases of eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, and, you know, all kinds of immune reactions to heavy metals disappear like this, the symptoms as you describe, when we chelate people. So How it's really been explained to me is the skin being a lot of surface area is the largest organ in our body. Yes. And it's a great way for the body to de detoxify and get the, the substance out of the body. Absolutely right. It's time for a break, but when we come back, we're going to be talking more about holistic dentistry and something so easy that your entire family can take part in that can add one year to your life. Stay tuned.
all prescriptions come in a package. Pfizer is the leading research-based pharmaceutical company. But we believe to be truly healthy, it takes more than medication. When you choose foods with the health check symbol, it's like shopping with the Heart and Stroke Foundation's dietitians. It's one important way the Heart and Stroke Foundation helps you eat well. Asthma research has helped more Canadians to lead healthy, active lives. Doctors at Allied Research International are conducting a research study on an investigational device delivering an approved and marketed asthma medication. Qualifying participants may receive up to $2,160 upon study completion. If you would like to participate, please call our Mississauga office at 1-888-ARI-5544. Allied Research International, voted one of Canada's best managed companies. All hell broke loose. Saturday. If you thought things were bad before... Are you some sort of hooker? Get a load of this. What is up with that? Now go. Listen to me. Show the legs. Your ankles suck. Janice Dickinson is in the house. Ah, oh, shut up. You know, I don't buy you for a minute. And it ain't pretty. If you don't want to be a model, walk out the f door and don't come back. Britain's Next Top Model. An all-new episode premieres Saturday on Star. Welcome back to Wild on Health. I'm homeopathic Dr. Bryce Wild. Did you know that flossing daily adds one year to your life? I'd also suggest adding a regular coenzyme Q10 supplementation and some vitamin C to strengthen your gums. I'm here with holistic dentist Dr. Christopher Sang. What's your opinion on uh, flossing adding a year to your life? I've heard actually, Bryce, that it adds even more years. Does it? Is that true? Seven. Really? We're, we are reducing the amount of bacteria getting into our bloodstream. Like, like what we mentioned before, the mouth is the gateway to our whole dig right. digestive system. Yeah. So and it prevents the, the cardiovascular tissue from getting bunged up too somehow, right? How does that work? Even mainstream medicine and dentistry <coughs> has shown a strong link between the bacteria that cause gum disease and the bacteria that cause heart disease. Right. So we want to keep our hearts ticking for a long time. Right. So for the average person by flossing, they're going to add time to their life. Get flossing, people. I know you've heard that from your dentist in the past before. Um, tell our viewers a little bit about too, this really interesting uh, concept you're using in your dental practice, which is bio or sort of matching to one's body chemistry, sort of pre testing whether a material that you may put in their mouth matches with their body chemistry. What do you call it and, and, what do you, uh, and how do you perform that? We call it dental material yep. biocompatibility testing. Okay. And it's, there's two main ways. There's the what we call it an energetic test, yep. which is very similar to our polygraph or lie detector test that you see on TV. And it's using the uh, skin's electro-galvanic skin response, uh, the electrical response, and, and how that responds to the actual material that you're testing. And the other way of testing is through a blood test and, and using the antigen antibody test. Right. Yeah, so you check a material and whether or not your body tends to want to react against that material if it's got an immune predisposition or immune sensitivity to it. So then you wouldn't obviously put it in that person's mouth. Right. Right? No matter if it was by chance as a dentist your preferred material, you still would avoid it and use the next best thing. Correct. That's amazing. Um, we're going to go back to the phone lines here because I see them lighting up. Margaret in Toronto, you're on Wild on Health. How are you, Margaret? Oh, not too bad. Thanks. Good, good. Thanks Welcome for to taking my call. Pleasure. Um, my question is, um, I'm 48 and I'm premenopausal and I, unfortunately, I got braces on two years ago and I do have silver fillings. Now, this, the braces, would that be causing some problems with hmm. my menopause or anything hmm. like that? I just feel depressed and, and I have been told to get them off, but... August will be two years, and my orthodontist just told me that it's going to be another three more months, and I don't know if I can hang on three more months. Interesting. Sorry, I'm just a little bit emotional. No, that's okay. Take your time, Margaret. Well, let's ask Dr. Sang his opinion on this, and I might be able to add a couple of cents there, too. Okay, great. Thanks. So what would your opinion be? Would this be causing Mar any... Margaret, just, just so, I, so you understand, there are a lot of people in your situation, and there is a big emotional component to mercury affecting our central nervous system. So don't feel that you know, you're alone in here. Um, we okay. see a lot of that in our practice. And even, even with the removal of amalgam fillings, 
oftentimes people can get emotional. Now, Health Canada did a risk assessment study in the back of the 90s, and, and it came out very clear. We do not, want not do, do not want to put too many different kinds of metals in the mouth at the same time. So if we have metal fillings already and you're adding the braces in, they're, they're dissimilar metals. So you are creating more electrical fields, electrical currents. And can that actually impact menopause directly? Do you, that you I'd have to ask. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel in natural medicine, what we tend to preach often is that, you know, we try to get the body working better on its own, but when it's impeded by, you know, all kinds of toxicities in the environment and it's not able to process, you're already having a problem in, in menopause it, to begin with. Not a problem. It's not a symptomatology is not a disease, Margaret. It's a condition of life that you're going to move through. Ultimately, you'll get through it. But if you're bombarded with extra stuff to deal with at this particular time in your life, it makes for a more difficult experience. So anything you can do to remove toxins from your body and to sort of you know relinquish some of the stresses on your body the better off you're going to be i'm going to suggest that you see a homeopathic doctor naturopath but the first thing i'll throw out there is to try something called sepia that's what to me it sounds like you would do well from using so look into using a sepia perhaps at a 30 ch find that at your local health food store okay can i just ask one more thing okay um sorry about that no no go ahead like i just a month ago i have started this manatech uh thing it's like amber toast and it's a plus a vitamin have yep. you ever heard of that sure and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that, you know, an average uh, multivitamin mineral complex and some extra vitamin Bs for you and some essential fatty acids would do the trick as well. I mean, as much as you can to supplement your diet, but don't forget the importance of having a really good and well-founded diet to begin with, okay? Right. And then, Margaret, may I suggest that you speak with your orthodontist again and, okay. and let him know how you're feeling. And, um, he, if, he knows how I feel. He knows that I, I want them off desperately. And when he told me three more months, like I literally broke down crying in the office. Right. And um, I don't know if I, because he says if I take them off too early, my bite is not proper yet. And it could cause jaw pain and I could lose teeth. And that scares me also. So I don't right. know if I should persevere well, till November. Uh, November sounds like more than three months, so why don't you see if there's something he can do temporarily until okay. you can get through the, the menopausal symptoms and I then see. go back to the braces. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll throw one more thing out there, Margaret, and that's something called Caprex. Caprex is an anti-inflammatory, K-A-P-R-E-X. It's an anti-inflammatory and it's a natural, it's derived from hops and barley and it can actually lower the inflammation systemically with absolutely no side effect. Oh, that, and I'll I can get that at a health, health food store? Yeah, well, it's a professional line, so a professional health food store, or, you know, a pharmacy that deals in natural medicine. Oh, great. Okay, and we wish you all the best of luck. Okay, thank you very much. It's interesting, in your practice, you also debrief patients or you actually ask them to perhaps seek out some counsel if they're going through some emotional transition because of the exactly. stuff being very emotional for some yes. people. And here's a perfect example. We've got John on the line from Cambridge. John, welcome to Wild on Health. John, you with us? Okay, let's move on to uh, Amir. Amir in Toronto. Toronto, uh, welcome to Wild on Health, Amir. Uh, hello. How are you, sir? I'm okay. My Good. question is about a toothpaste that's called biotin. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's any side effects because I had a dry mouth condition. Mm -hmm. My dentist recommended that I should try this and uh, it also comes in chewing gum. What and, are your... uh, the reason of dry mouth is because I'm on, uh, I've been on uh, long-term antidepressants, mm -hmm. also on pain medication recently before my hip replacement surgery. Okay. And uh, I'm just worried if there are any side effects because I also went through a mouth cancer surgery okay. four years ago. All right. And I still have a severe, uh, 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 I don't know what the word is, like uh, cuts or something like that in my, on, my, on my left cheek. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically, I'm asking if there's any negative side effects from using biotin. It has helped the dry mouth condition tremendously. Okay, so let's ask Dr. Sang here. What's your opinion on that, if you have one? Thank you. Hi, Thank Amir. You. I'm sorry, I don't know of any uh, side effects from biotin, so I think if it's helping your dry mouth, please continue to use it. Uh, okay. As far as I know, it's a good product. Mm -hmm. There's also uh, another good toothpaste called X-Pure. X-Pure. And um, xylitol mints are excellent also for helping people with dry mouth. Uh, we carry a line of products in our office. Uh, if you need more information, please contact us, and we can find out uh, who carries that close to you. Yeah, we're going we're to throw up your website at the, at the next pack when we come back from a break. It is time for a break right now, and we're here with Dr. Tsang. Uh, well, there is the website actually online there for you. We're going to throw it back up when we get back. Um, we're going to come back soon, and uh, if you have an upcoming dental procedure that you're confused about and don't know what to do or what to ask uh, your dentist, call us now, and uh, we'll be happy to answer your call. We'll be right back.
Wouldn't it make sense if car insurance rates were based on skill and experience? That way, the better drivers would get the better rates. So who are these better drivers? Drivers like you, 50 and over. Because your years of experience and good judgment make you a better driver. If you're 50 or over with a clean driving record, you are eligible for the experience advantage through Gray Power. To find out how much Gray Power's experience advantage could save you, call us at 1-866-473-9640. Gray Power's experience advantage could save you up to $400 per year on your car insurance. To find out how much you could save, call now. Insure your car and home with Gray Power and save even more. Call 1-866-473-9640. Do you need a loan fast today, right now? I'm the loan arranger, and I can arrange for a loan of $100, $1,000, even $100,000. Whether you need the money for the stock market, the casino, or even a new wardrobe, there are no questions asked, because I am the easiest, fastest loan arranger in town. Oh, yeah. Whether you have good credit, bad credit, or no credit, I will process your loan in a matter of minutes because I am Russell, the loan arranger Oliver. Oh, yeah. And I'm still buying your used jewelry, gold and diamonds. Dawn Plus with Power Scrubbers gives you the power to remove stuck on food so easily. It's like your dishes clean themselves. Introducing seven anti-aging benefits that reduce the look of lines and pores, even tone, brighten, make skin look smooth, hydrate, and lock in moisture, all in one little package of new Total Effects. Welcome back to Wild on Health. I'm homeopathic Dr. Bryce Wild, and I'm here with holistic dentist Dr. Christopher Sang, answering your calls and questions. Um, at the break, we we're talking a little bit about cold sores, and there's maybe even some natural approaches, uh, and then maybe even some approaches used in your office uh, to treat them as well. Is that uh, cold sores are caused by viruses that live in our nerve endings, right. and it can be both on our lips and inside our mouth. And what we've realized over the last several years is that laser can actually treat those cold sores, really? kill the virus, and prevent it from recurring in that same spot. Wow. And, and now I'm coming, any, into, I'm coming in to see you myself. As soon as you feel that first tingle is the best time to zap that virus. Yeah. And also, in the health stores, you can find lysine creams. That's that a great amino lips. acid, right? Yeah. And for everyone out there who doesn't realize this, it's actually herpes, right? I mean, cold yes. sores are no, otherwise known as herpes when they form the blisters. And if you're going to address that with a laser, you could actually see that it doesn't come back in the same spot. So now that right? summer's coming up, be careful, yeah. put some uh, lip balm on and make sure that you don't get too much sun on your lips. Excellent stuff. We're going to go back to the phone lines. Uh, Mary in Toronto. Mary, you're on Wild on Health. Welcome to the show. Yes, hi there. How are you? Okay, how are you? Excellent, thank you. You have a question for Dr. Tang? I do. Yeah, um, I am currently on antibiotics mm -hmm. because I have gum disease. I have great teeth but terrible gums. So my mm -hmm. doctor, or dentist rather, um, has put me on about a month's worth of antibiotics to get rid of the bacteria because inevitably he believes that I'm going to lose my teeth. There's pockets of bacteria through the x-rays that he has seen. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, he said I should really get gum surgery. That would be the best protocol for me, but I'm reluctant to do that. And I'm also concerned with the antibiotics that I'm taking. Uh, I'm not a pill popper, so I'm, I'm just worried or concerned that um, once I stop the antibiotics, I mean, is it going to cut the bacteria going to come back? Am I going to go through this every once in a while, the inflammation and, and what have you? Is, is there an alternative that I can, I can, you know, do? Sure. Well, let's tease this apart, Dr. Sang. Well, first of all, I think you'd, you'd agree with me that probiotics Absolutely. are indicated for Absolutely. Dairy, in this case for... Right throughout the uh, antibiotics and all the way through probably another month and month and a half, what people want to know is you have to take a therapeutic dose of these probiotics off the common health food store shelf, looking at between two and five billion per capsule. Okay. You require at least 400 to 500 billion twice a day. So there are products out there like BioK and VSL and HMF. You're going to want to look into these definitely as probiotics. But what else can she do? Is there any alternative to this, perhaps, or is it... Depending uh, on the severity of, mm -hmm. of her situation... Right. Uh, s under the gum irrigation with some disinfectants or some hydrogen peroxide, um, baking soda, and laser curatage, 
can sometimes slow down the progression. Mary, are we talking to a non-flosser? Well, we're talking to a non-flosser who's flossing now. Okay, good. That's a, a reformed message. person. A good. reformed person. Those yes, are the worst, Mary. <laughs> uh, I also um, I want to add uh, that uh, he's mentioned twice a day Listerine for some reason, and uh, I'm not a fan of Listerine at all. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's not the natural way to go, right? It's not something that I promote, Mary, no. but, but I think some people have had some good success with it. Really? And, um, you know, it, it, if you can avoid any kind of mouth rinses with alcohol, yes. they tend to dry out the tissues, and I think Listerine does not have a high alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, so you were saying baking soda? Baking soda has been used for many, many years. At just uh, uh, is, as a rinse? You really have to get underneath the gums where the bacteria are hiding. This is where you might want to see Dr. Sang, actually. And on that note, just for yes. you, all you viewers looking to see uh, Dr. Sang, we can put up his website at this point. You're actually moving to a new office, too, aren't you? For Mary and Correct. everyone else to know. Where are you moving? Because you're in Aurora now. We're, we're in the downtown Aurora core now, and mm -hmm. we have been for many years, yep. uh, over 17 years. Mm -hmm. And we're just moving down the street. Uh, to the south end of Aurora, Good. to a larger facility where we can look after people a little better and uh, have some modernized facilities there as and well. And there you are up on the screen. And if and if anyone wants to find you, you can see it up on the screen. Uh, it's, what's the actual website again? We'll put that at the bottom of the uh, dentistry-holistic.com. It's Correct. at the bottom of your screen right now. Very actually. easy to remember. Thanks a lot for the call, Mary. And to Sam in Toronto. Sam, you have a question for Dr. Sang. Welcome to Wild on Health. We have lost Sam. Kelly in Etobicoke. Kelly, how are you doing this evening? Good, how are you? Good, excellent, thanks. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for taking my call. I oh, just have a, a quick question. Yeah. I just got my braces off uh, about a week ago, and I was wondering about the Listerine disposable or the dissolvable uh, strips. Are they safe? Oh. Mm-hmm. Anything in the Listerine disposable strips? Again, Kelly, I'm not familiar with all of the commercial products, and I tend to not recommend them to my patients. So yeah. in turn, if you want something that's more natural and, and more safe, and then stick to the, the things that I mentioned, hydrogen peroxide, 3%, uh, or you can even dilute it further, and uh, baking soda rinses and salt water rinses. And again, it's looking at getting at the underlying cause, and, and truly, in this case, it's the underlying and the root cause, excuse the pun. It's getting below the gum line and really getting to the crux of the issue. So perhaps, you know, she may need to see someone like yourself on a regular basis to get this. Uh, and when we would show you how to irrigate under the gums very carefully at home, Okay. so that you, you have a continue, daily continue the process. regimen. I, I'd throw my two cents into that, actually, on any sort of level where there's perhaps a coloring or a dye or a, chem a chemical. Honestly, Kelly, if you can't pronounce the name, it's something, I mean, holistic people like ourselves tend to want to stray away from. So, again, the fewer chemicals you put into your system, uh, especially those that are intended for use on a daily basis, the better. So thanks for your call. Chris in Mississauga is next. Chris, you have a question on Wild on Health. Um, yes. Is there anything that you can do for halitosis that's like been going on for years and it's continuous? Is it the stomach or sure. is it uh, or is it yeah. the stomach or is it the teeth? Yeah, there's an age-old argument there. So halitosis, just quickly, that's bad breath, right? Just right. very fast. What can she do for this halitosis? Uh, well, you're on the right track, Chris, because you've mentioned is it coming from the teeth or the gums or is it coming from your stomach? And it could be either or it could be both. So you you know, first things, look at your mouth. Um, make sure your dental care is where it should be and you're getting professional help with that. Uh, your dentist should be able to help you out with that and, and your dental hygienist. And then seek someone like Dr. Wild who can look at your digestive system as well. Yeah, reorienting the digestive system. Nature's best sort of anti-bad breath parsley. Chew on parsley daily. So it won't get to the root cause. You have to see someone like us for that, but parsley is amazing. You are incredible. Thank you so much for joining us today, Chris, and uh, we are going to be out of time at this point. So my personal recommendations are to always bring Arnica and Hypericum with you to each dentist appointment. You'll usually need one or both to help you recover. Take extra vitamin C with bioflavonoids to ensure good gum health, and consider coenzyme Q10 and zinc if you're really having problems with your gums. And don't forget to floss. It's worth an extra year of your life. Look for coming episodes including breast cancer, thermography, a diet for your brain, and all about anxiety. Until next time, be well.